out again. Wow. Thank you. What are the chances get a crowd like this two nights in a row? Okay, let's meet our panel. First, he received critical acclaim as the co-creator of the television series South Central and is currently the executive producer and creator of Moesha on the UPN network, Ralph Farquhar. Hey, Ralph. How you doing? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a seat. A, uh, a professor of race and law at George Washington University Law School, Paul Butler. <laughs> Paul, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, she was a member of MTV's Real World 3 in San Francisco. Now she's in grad school studying third world economic development, Rachel Campos. Hey, Rachel, nice to meet you. And he, of course, is an alumni of Saturday Night Live and the star of the films The Great White Hype, which is out next month. And No, out now and, and right now. And, oh, what? <laughs> next month, he's so busy, has a new film coming called High School High in theaters, John Lovitz. Okay. Welcome aboard, and John, thank you for dressing. Um, <laughs> no, I have Who wanted to... died you... made you the host. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have wanted you here for a long time, and you have always resisted me for coming, and the reason you did was because you always said, Bill, I know nothing. <laughs> you said, I'm ignorant, I'm a tabula rasa, I'm a blank slate. When it comes to the world and the opinions that one needs to function in it, I'm nothing. I'm nowhere, I'm stupid. When it comes... <laughs> Are you a Democrat, John? <laughs> that, well, that's not all I said. <laughs> I also said I'm very handsome. <laughs> You'd yes, be you're... lucky, lucky to have me on your yes, show. Yes, I know. And and we are, and you are very handsome. But your and I know nothing about politics. No, but your your point is well taken, or at least it's at least common. People say to me all the time, you know what? I don't watch the news; it depresses me. Or, you know, it fills my head with negativity, and so I'm really more pure than the rest of you. And I'm, and I, I think one should, in a democracy, know what's going on, but that's just my opinion. I'm wondering, I'm gonna ask this panel, is that a defensible opinion, to be like John, ignorant? <laughs> well, it must be, or how would you explain the election of Reagan? He's one of your heroes, isn't he? I must, doesn't that get your dander up, young lady? Um, I think a lot of people don't know about the news vote, but um, I mean, I guess that's all right. I, Clinton got elected as well, and I think that you can probably give the same argument for that one, so. <laughs> Seriously, though, what I wonder is why, especially so many poor white people vote Republican. I mean, if you're working at a minimum wage job, if you don't have health care, do you think Newt Gingrich gives a damn about you? He's got a contract on your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, See? I, not, I think not so hard to fake it, is it? <laughs> See, I, I think nice to be, guy. I think to be. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think we have a we have a right to be ignorant, and you know, the news <laughs> is certainly not a source of valid information most times. You ought to see the people who dispense the news. I happen to shoot right across from uh, ABC, and just so you know, uh, they have the tie and the jackets, but they're wearing shorts and and jeans underneath that. So when they're <laughs> They're walking around on a lot. It's, it's a lie. Basically, it's all just a lie. How, uh, <laughs> how does the fact that they're wearing jeans 
Well, they're, they're telling you the they're dressed up, and they're not. They are? They're lying I've never heard one guy, <laughs> they're I've never heard one guy say, welcome to the evening news, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> but we're out of time in this segment. We will take a break, and we'll be right back.